Mega gig, Magig, Magig, Magoop, Magic Goop, Maggie Corp. I don't know how to say it. I don't know what the right pronunciation is. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of retarded. So continuing with the redesign of ImprintX, we needed to print all of the parts layered blue. These parts would essentially hold the linear rails that would make up the core XY system. I chose ASA filament due to the high stress and impact which these parts would experience. The cons to ASA? I've heard it's hard to print. And the rumors are true. The first prints I did proved ASA was not your ordinary filament. From broken thin features to poor bed adhesion, the old nemesis to 3D printing had returned and plagued my parts. That's right, warping. And this caused me to take extreme actions, like spending $50 on a magic glue called Magic Goo. At least that's what I thought it was called. I had no choice. Does this magic goo really fix the warping of ASA filament? All I knew was this goo acted as a bed glue for filaments like ABS, PLA, TPU, and ASA. The bottle was expensive, but the reviews were positive. Plus it was so easy my grandma could apply it with only 4 steps before you started your print. So naturally, I ordered some. Okay. The first step into applying this to your printer bed set, shake the magic goo pin like you mean it. Like you mean it. <laughs> oh my. For step one, all the shaking would be performed off camera. I mean, this is a family show. Plus, I'm not posting that for the internet memers. Not today, internet. After you shake vigorously the glue, it is ready to be applied to the print bed. Like my grandma stamping her bingo card, you press the end firmly on the print bed, and then you spread an even layer across the surface. And that's it. After you place the glue on the surface of your print bed, you can put it back in the printer and start warming your bed up to the temperature you need to print. The magic goo actually worked. My first layer stuck so well, I thought I'd master ASA filament. Like, what's the big deal, guys? But as the magic goo saw to one problem, warping would not be defeated so easily. As any good nemesis proves, the showdown was just beginning. Simply having a perfect first layer of my part and the magic goo allowing the ASA filament to bond with my print surface means the warping had to go somewhere. It moved up. Literally. With this part, the supports were needed because I had a gap where the aluminum extrusion would be inserted against the part. This would mean we would be starting a layer on a supported surface and the ASA filament did not like that. Not. One. Bit. So you know how we had to use magic goo to get the ASA filament to stick to the bed? Well the supports stuck to the bed and then when I got time to lay the layer of ASA filament on top of the supports, the ASA did not adhere to the support layer. It warped causing the layer to curl up from the support. No! God, please, no! No! Starting another print, I slowed down the printer's speed when it was printing, increased the gap between the supports, hoping to give me more surface for the layer to stick to, and with the lower speed, I'd hope to be able to allow the ASA filament to melt fully onto the support layer. Did it work? Of course not. While the print quality of the second part turned out a lot better than the first one, there were less bubbles on the side of the print where the layer was printed on top of the supports, and the curl upwards 
wasn't as dramatic as before. However, this part was still a failure, and Warping had claimed another one. You could sense my disappointment when I held up the part against the straight edge of the aluminum extrusion. The surface that would lay up against the metal was not flush, and this would cause me all sorts of headaches if I tried to use it on the printer, and I thought about it. But this part needs to sit perfectly flush so that the gears are held correctly for the tiny belt. I did mess around with the orientation, but this was also a mistake. The larger the surface area that sat on the supports caused an extreme failure of the part. So that idea was dumb. Now that I've over explained my problem, here's my solution. I split the part in two. I know, that's some King Solomon wisdom. Thus eliminating the layer needed to be printed on top of the support would eliminate the warp. I just had to pick the perfect spot to split my part. So did it work? The final parts turned out really good. The ASA filament looks great and feels really strong and durable. There are no signs of warping, but the MVP of this is the magic goo. If you need bed adhesion, use it. It's worth the money and works on ASA filament. Magic goo. I put that on everything. Like pizza, your co-worker's lunch, whatever this is. I put that on everything. Thank you all for watching this video. Hey, check out our links that are listed in the description below. If you like what we do here, please leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hope your 3D prints turn out awesome and I'll see you all in the next video.